Hello everyone, welcome back. And in the previous videos, we saw how to um, read data from the Siemens uh, RS-485 module. So for example, uh, we used a temperature controller, we also used a, a MFM and we also saw how to uh, do the conversion of word to uh, real conversion and get the data from a third party device. Now, we are going to configure our S7-1200 PLC as a slave. So the, this PLC is going to now give data to another master. Okay. So in our video, we will use uh, the mod scan software to read the data from the PLC. Read the data from the PLC. Okay. Let's uh, let's have a look here. Okay. So now uh, to start the mod bus. Um, 485 uh, slave configuration usual uh, like how you did for the master put the instruction okay enable a com load instruction and use the first scan instruction to load the communication protocol into the system so the port id same go to uh, you can just please select id 269 Board rate 9600, parity is 0 and the MBDB address will be coming from the slave. So here let's say I want to just add one uh, data. So let's say I want to put the done bit here. So this is available on the MB com load block itself. You remember I have mentioned this earlier. Error and finally status. Okay, so now let's add the MB slave block. Add the MB slave block. So here we can, one thing we can do is we can give this com load done bit here just to make sure that unless this is not executed, this should not work. Okay, so based on this done bit, this will work. And the MBDB, so the MB slave or master DB has to be given to the MBDB address. MB, DB, so MB slave DB has been given to the MB com load block. So now the MB address. So what is this MB address? So this is a slave address. So you remember we had the temperature controls address as 3, the MFM's address as 2. Similarly, so let's say I want the PLC to be 4 now. Okay. So holding register, same thing. If you want to just read or uh, you know give out only one register, you can directly give like maybe uh, MW100 or MW200. But here we are going to use uh, an array of 20 elements, an array of 20 elements. So for that we need to create a data block, uh, if you remember, so let's say MD slave, okay, this is okay, MD slave uh, holding, yeah, let's say MD slave uh, registers, okay, okay, cannot give MD slave, I think so, MD registers, so here, first thing, we have to remove the optimize block access. Okay, okay, okay. And here, let's create, say, MB data send, any, any name you can give. So array of, we want integers. So we want 20 integers. So let's create from 0 to 19. Okay, now you can see inside there are 20 elements, 20 elements and let's just compile it. Yes, now it's compiled. Now go to the main block, usual thing, MB register, drag and drop the pointer address to the MB slave. Drag and drop the pointer address to the MB slave. So let's compile it. Let's do a full compile. So I am using the uh, CB. Uh, Communication board. Okay, I'm not using the communication module. I'm using the communication board. So, enable this. Download. So it's loading. So let's say reinitialize and load. Reinitialize and load the block. So finish it. So now here, let's go online. 
So now we need to read the data from the PLC, right? To through some software or a hardware. So we are going to use the MB uh, mod scan software. So how do I am connecting to the mod scan software is? Uh, let me show you. So if you can see here, so I'm using this converter. Okay, I'm using this um, converter from DTEC. So this DTEC is uh, this is wired from the PLC. This is wired from the PLC, and this is uh, this is actually going into the PC now. So I'm just need to connect the cable. So this cable is already connected to the uh, PC. So I'm just connecting here. Or you can directly connect the converter to the PC as well. Okay, it's connected. So now let me open mod scan. So so mod scan is available as a demo version. Uh, you can just use the demo version. It will only work for three and a half minutes. So after you establish the first connection. Okay. So here what I'm going to do is uh, let's go here. Let's say. Uh, Let's put it like this. Let's put it like this, and let's see the mo monitor the registers. So this is the real time value, okay? And let's give some values first. Hundred here, and four fifty six here, eight ninety five, eight nine four something here, okay? Now here we have to do the configuration, connection, connect. So we have connected our uh, converter to the COM port one. Then I am setting up the baud rate. So you remember the baud rate that is set here. So nine six double zero parity zero that is none, and stop it is one as per our normal configuration. Okay. Now go to the MB register again and just give okay here. So now we need to read from the address number four. So here. I am going to read from the holding, sorry, in holding register, device ID four. So there were some valid responses. Let's see. So we need, we have only twenty registers here, so we have to change this to twenty. Okay. So now you can see the value that is written here is already here. So let's say I want to give the last register four seven eight five. You can see. It four seven eight five moved here. So, for example, I am writing the four zero zero four. That is this value here. So, let's say I want to write seven four eight nine. Update. So you can see seven four eight nine. I updated from the software into the PLC. So similarly, you should only read the uh, amount of data that is available in your array. So if you try to read even one data more, okay, then what happens is after a few seconds. It will show a error because it it is not able to find this address. That is the problem. So because here we have only twenty from zero to nineteen, we have only twenty. So you have to read only the exact amount of data. You have to only uh, read the exact amount of data from the PLC. So again, let's say I want to read right here as one. So you can see it changes. So from here I am changing the value as two. Here it is two. So you can read and write the values based uh, depending upon your Requirement. So this is how we configure a server block, Modbus server block in S7 1200 PLC. So with this, the RS485 communication part is done. Thank you.